Hi everybody, welcome to 24 Hour Vibes where I talk about chat, everything reality. <laughs> the guys with the trends, what's going on, oh, who should laugh, everything chat. <laughs> I'm your host, Lorraine Williams. Now today's episode, I'm so excited to get into. We have so much to cover and have a lot of opinions. <laughs> but you know what? I'm trying to keep it as limited as possible. Okay. <laughs> so today's episode is going to be on Housewives of Atlanta. <sighs> this is 13, I believe. This is season 13, episode 10. What happens in the dungeon? Now, with that being said, y'all already know it's about to go zounding all up in your face. Now, <laughs> The night started off so lovely. Oh my God. Yes, the ladies was, you know, getting their little outfits on. The outfits were cute too. Shout out to Kenny. Kenny, yes, girl. I need to, you know, we need to talk. Because those outfits were really cute. Everybody was looking nice. You know, everybody was bringing out their intersexual, you know, the other side. You know how Beyonce got Sasha Fierce. They got chocolate for Kenya, peaches for, um, <laughs> Portia, you gotta love Portia. Um, this is Cynthia's bachelorette party. Yes, <laughs> great. You know, bachelor parties are meant to be fun. So why turn out to be messy, y'all? Why? Why did it turn out to be messy? So, you know, Candy set up the little bow. You know, the, the stripper outside bow. He's a really cute guy. You know, ladies, nice on the eyes. Packing, baby is packing. Okay, he is blessed. From the gods. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> I mean, you could tell. And he was doing his little thing. So, you know, some of the ladies that haven't, you know, had some in forever, you know, you know, go crowd bulbs down there. It's okay. You know, we all have that little moment that, you know, you got to reset yourself. And, whew. <laughs> Things got heated that night. You know, they was bringing out their sexual side. You know, some ladies was bringing out um, their vicarious side. Shout out to them. Y'all do y'all thing. I'm not judging. I don't care. You know, live your life. Live your truth. I say, live your truth. And <laughs> it got a little, you know, they asked for cameras to go home. I get it. Sometimes you don't want everything broadcast on TV. Like, I get it. Shit, I wouldn't want that either. <laughs> Hello. They was having fun. You know, they, and then, you know, you got to look about your husbands, your kids might watch the show, your family. So, yeah, you trying to keep a little clean slate right there because you ain't trying to hear your husband's mouth in your ear. I got you. You know, you're not trying to be in divorce court, paying all them, you know, attorney fees. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Child, sometimes it's better to keep her, keep him, I should say. Hello. <laughs> so, <laughs> They hack the cameras to leave. So the cameras left, supposedly. They cover up some of the cameras in the house. So now you can see the outside camera looking inside. And then, you know, the, the editors, they did such a good job. You know, making sure who was like, oh, this is Candy or this is Portia, um, Samia, you know, all the people. You know, everybody that was there that was entertaining the stripper. Or some people just watching, you know, sometimes it's better to watch, I guess. And <laughs> so everybody went to sleep, you know, one by one. It was just quietly going to sleep around 6 a.m. <laughs> Six-ish, I should say, 6 ish a.m. The stripper was still there. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Chow, Kenya starts walking down the steps. <laughs> Going to get her daughter, Brooklyn. Shout out to little Brookie. She's so cute. Brooklyn Samil. Yeah. It took her 45 minutes to get her daughter, Samil. Because she said she heard sex voices, like sex sounds, you know, moaning and stuff. You know, some people make noise. Some people like it quiet. I don't know. You know, it's up to you. I'm going to shut my mouth on how I like it because y'all need to know that. But <laughs> so... I was like, oh, okay. So you wait, you made your daughter wait 45 minutes for you to get some milk, but you're hearing sex, like you put your ears to the door. I mean, to the door. <laughs> One, you broke 
Number one, photon, you're broke enough. Candy's number one rule. What happens in the dungeon stays in the dungeon. Because the next day, child, well, actually, later on that day, she was going around talking. Like, she was trying to investigate who slept with the stripper. She said she heard two female voices in his voice. She said she already stated one Porsche. This is my opinion on it. <clears throat> what happens in a sex dungeon stays in a sex dungeon. So why are you going around telling Portia's business? If Portia did it, she didn't. That is her business. She is single. Girl, live it up. <laughs> okay? You're not with Dennis. You're not engaged to Dennis anymore. I mean, live it up. You only live one time. So what? She slept with the stripper. Kenya, you probably want to sleep with the stripper too. You probably need some. You know what? How about you call him back? Call him back. Okay? I don't know. Do something, child. Write him. Text him. I don't know. Do that. Life goes on. Amen? Um, The thing is, the next day, she's trying to invest. Like, later on that day, she was trying to investigate. That's the thing that was kind of pissing me off. A lot of viewers were like, oh, my God, you know, y'all know y'all want to know that, you know, who slept with him. And then some people was like, I really don't care. I Personally, I really don't care who slept with him. Not my problem. I wasn't there. And it's a reason why I wasn't there. I'm not part of the show. <laughs> I'm just a viewer looking in. I'm like, okay, yeah, it was cool. And then one thing I did, to, um, Toya, Miss Toya, child, Miss Toya, she actually noticed and stuff. You know, she was like, why is Kenya bringing? Um, I don't like how she's going around. But then on Housewives. Um, of Atlanta after party you're talking about and you're trying to make Candy spill the beans and Candy was like you know I'm sure Candy knows but Candy's not going to say anything. Candy is loyal if any, if I have any party anybody Candy you invited to the barbecue you know you can bring your mom's cooking to you you know honestly stuff you know because I like to eat and <laughs> I mean you can buy it to everything child because you know how to shut your mouth some things you just can't invite people to child and that is one of them because people are going to run their mouth. I think Kenya's doing it because she's just, she really wants to know. Or it's a reality show. She's trying to give the people what they want to know. But well, give some people what they don't want to know. A lot of people, you know, in the comments, they were like, they really don't care. Some people are like, yeah, I want to know. <laughs> you, like, personally, you can't invite everybody to everything you have. And she wanted that. <laughs> okay. Now father like me fast forward um i like how I, okay now marlo and kenya they used to be very close you know a couple seasons back and then uh, you know needy got in the middle of everything so you know they uh, branched away um I don't know if this, I think Marlo's being sincere and I don't know if Kenya is being so sincere. Like, I don't know, because you you never know with Kenya, child. You never know. Um, So I was like, okay, so is this going to really work out? Or are y'all just doing this for TV? I'm confused. But I am so eager to figure it out, like find out, because it literally, like, the mid-season trailer came out and child is juicy. Because you know how the housewives start a little slow. But now it's like, bang, we here, baby. And what? What y'all talking about? Okay. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe. You like, you comment. I would like to know how many people think that Kenya is wrong for what she did, even though this is a reality show. Um, I already gave you my opinion on it. Again, I'm your host, Sabrina Williams, and welcome to 24 Hour Vibes, baby.